Tonight, News Channel 3 investigates. We have new information on the cold case investigation of a 1981 Rancho Mirage triple murder. News Channel 3 has learned three local Indian tribes are part of the investigation into these murders. News Channel 3's Nathan Baca joins us tonight with a look at what these three tribes are suspected of doing. Nathan. Tamara John, the three tribes under investigation are the Cabazons, the Santa Rosa, and the Torres Martinez. They are suspected of setting up secret experimental weapons testing deals in the 1980s. Three people who knew too much were murdered execution style in 1981. Riverside County cold case detectives police the documents you are about to see for what they died for. New documents reveal how local Indian tribes were involved in bringing large caliber weapons testing to the Coachella Valley. Riverside County Sheriff's Department cold case detectives are looking into whether a former Cabazon Indian vice chairman was murdered in 1981 with two other people in this home to keep these weapons deals secret. An experimental electromagnetic weapon called a railgun was on the testing list. Documents show a 1980s business partnership between the Cabazon Band of Mission Indians and security contractor Wackenhut to form Cabazon Arms. This is Santa Rosa Mountain, near Highway 74, where the secret weapons testing was meant to take place. Newly uncovered documents show the Santa Rosa Band of Indians was working with the Cabazon Indians. They plan to build the experimental weapons in the mountains south of Pinion Pines. To find out more about rail guns, we talked to UC Riverside physics professor Dr. Harry Tom. A rail gun is a electric operated gun. Uh, it uses only uh, a battery and you send electricity through the projectile itself and uh, you make it propel. This recent video from U.S. Navy weapons testing shows how gunpowder isn't needed to hurl a giant bullet at supersonic speeds. It is the future of artillery, but it's so hard to perfect, it's been tested for 30 years. We asked the Santa Rosa Band of Indians that pursuing weapons testing requiring enormous amounts of electricity and environmental dangers fits in with its promise to protect the natural resources of sovereign tribal land. The tribe has not responded. Additional documents show the Torres Martinez tribe granted Cabazon Arms Company the right to test large-scale weapons on 30,000 acres near the Salton Sea. Torres Martinez tribal leadership have also not responded to our questions. Considering the Indian tribes have moved on with their large casinos, experimental weapons testing deals 28 years ago may not seem to matter anymore. But three people were murdered 28 years ago in Rancho Mirage. They left behind family members that search for their killers to this day. Many of the small-scale weapons testing were later used for the Nicaraguan Contra guerrillas that became the focus of the Iran-Contra scandal in the 1980s. Wagon Hut Corporation withdrew from doing business locally for a while, but it is back, now winning the contract for jail security in Desert Hot Springs. Approval of professional services agreement with Mackinac for jail security services for the police department. This is quite frankly right up uh, Wacken Hut's so, you know, alley. Those well in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 5-0. The crimes of decades past are being investigated once again by local detectives, looking into whether three people died to bury the secrets now finally coming to light. If you have missed any part of this 34-part exclusive investigation more than one year in the making, catch up with our reports on KESQ.com on the right-hand side of the homepage. Click on Special Reports and then inside the DA's office and DHS police. And John Tamer, we also have scanned copies of the weapons testing documents on our website as well, KESQ.com. This okay. is part 34. It is. So there's got to be a part 35. There is. Uh, we uh, already actually have uh, some information about who the prime suspect is in the cold case murder investigation. Uh, we do have some information about uh, who the detectives are looking at specifically. And uh, that information is uh, going to be uh, pretty uh, eye-opening. We'll All look right. forward to that. Thanks, Thank you, Nathan. Nathan. Your first alert forecast is up next right here on News Channel 3 at 11. Peter Canella is in for Ginger tonight. He'll be back in a moment. You're watching KESQ, the Desert's News Leader. When you see breaking news, call Newsline 3, 773-3333, or go to KESQ.com and click on Newsline 3.